certainly again, we're all looking forward to Eamon Cregan. But where is the bar set for John Allen? I mean, it's his first championship season. What constitutes a successful first year for John? John has come in and he's at a disadvantage straight away because he's come in, he only knows the players from seeing them on the paper. And it's up to his backroom team to, en to enlighten him as to the players that he has. He has seen them now in six, seven, eight, nine, ten games. We've been beat Mike Clare three times this year. Oh. That doesn't go down well with any of us, you know, oh. that, that want Limerick to win. But John would have the cool look and he would prepare his team. It's, uh, Clare have, been, have won three times. Now they want to go and win four. Very difficult to win four on the trot. And Limerick are not saying very much. They were beaten by Clare the last day and that stupid incident on the sideline, I think, was the turning point in Clare's favour, mm. you know. And we, we're going out now and we're hoping that we can perform to the level that we've, we're capable of doing. And they're two young teams, very young teams. Mm. John, John O'Connell at centre forward is a huge plus for Clare. He's playing extremely well. John Conlon, yeah. John Conlon, sorry, mm. John Conlon. I should know he's above Mary Eye. But um, Clare are certainly favourites. But going into Thurlis and Limerick going into Thurlis hoping to win, I think Limerick have a very good chance, but Clare would certainly be favourites for the match. Ryan, I'm sure you have the bruises from last uh, Saturday night in Cusick Park in Ennis, but how good are Clare? Um, I think they're very organised. They're very fit, no one can question that, but they're very organised. They have a game plan. They stick to it at times, and I, th I think we kind of focused on it, but they, they try and overplay the ball out of defence. Um, but they, they have their game plan, they stick to it, and they're, they're very good at it. Mm. And I suppose it's up to Limerick when they are breaking it out, when Clare are breaking out defence with the hand passing, the short strike passing. It's up to Clare or up to Limerick to break that down, mm. get in a block, get in a flick, and I think they'll just disrupt them and play in their face, really. Okay. Keen, in terms of this is the fifth meeting between Clare and Limerick this year. Limerick were rested last weekend, but mm. Clare have the momentum. So who has the advantage, the team resting or the team with the momentum? Well, I think Limerick are the team who really have the point to prove here. Loss of command and position to Clare in the league final in the playoff to go up to 1A. Loss a seven-point lead against Tip in, in the championship as well. And they're, they're, they're two burning issues for them that they have, have to address. I think Shane Dowland's form this year has been super impressive for a young guy. I think his, his partnership with Declan Hannon is really exciting for Limerick people. Uh, Clare have momentum from last week, but if you saw the scenes of jubilation as you, as you did after the win over Dublin, you would worry about the ability of Davy to get them back down. Yeah. Uh, I think John Allen is like a professor as opposed to Davy, who's more like Tasmanian devil. <laughs> uh, so it's a complete contrast there. Uh, and I, 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 think, I think it's set up for Limerick, actually. So you're going for Limerick? I'm going for Limerick. Lads. <laughs> well, I know what you're going for anyway. Limerick? Limerick, yeah. Limerick. Limerick. Oh, yeah, so okay. Limerick going to win this.